fucking hands up. Welcome guys to a new review. Uh, today we have a Mercedes CLS, it's a new car. We're gonna go in depth. We saw it on the car show in Zagreb, Croatia. Now today we're gonna go into details. So I apologize for the background noise. It's uh, closing hours, so the cleaning ladies are vacuuming. So I hope that's not going to disturb this video. So let's head into the new CLS. So this is the new CLS a new coupe from Mercedes third generation um, this is really interesting this is the entry model um, this is the key it's wrapped in this plastic because uh, the car is still sort of brand new so I'm not gonna open this as you can see um, just can close it we have a lock lock button and pop the trunk as you can see and I believe there is a panic button on the back which we're not gonna test so let's dig in now we have a multi-beam LED lights, really beautiful design. I must say I was a skeptic when I saw the pictures. It didn't look uh, on the picture as good as it looks in person. Now this is the exterior AMPG package and the interior as well. And I like this side vents as you can see for the air to move. There's also a grill here and if you come closer, you can see on the top and in the middle grill these vents open to let the air in on a certain speeds. Of course, there is the uh, radar and centers for um, entry autonomous driving. Uh, so, moving on, we have here uh, all array parking sensors, and we have this massive alloy 20 inch wheels. Uh, they come with the Michelin tires, so looking really nice. Uh, on the top, we have this coupe. Uh, nice roof is falling down. We have this huge massive wheels. They look awesome and we have this mirrors uh, With LED blinkers. We also have a warning for the blind spot. So Let's move around the car Looking really nice on the top you can spot the two cameras that assists you with a lane assist and steering. Um, I love this sort of, this honeycomb uh, design. Uh, and as you can see, there's even like aggressive look, especially with this lights that are new. And so this is the 350D all four wheel drive, six cylinder diesel engine, uh, nine speed automatic with 286 horsepower. Now this color is uh, graphite gray. This is in Croatian, so I'm translating it. Uh, maximum speed is 250 kilometers per hour and from zero to 200, 200 kilometers per hour, excuse me, or 62 miles per hour in just 5.7 seconds. Now we're gonna open the bonnet uh, later. We're gonna go around the car and see the back. Now I wanna hear your opinions. What do you think about this coupe? look because it looks awesome it did look pretty weird uh, before let me get you more light there's a huge light behind me so uh, camera is struggling moving the angle unfortunately these are fake exhausts for some reason I guess in the you know better performance you're gonna get real pipes but at the bottom I really can't tell 
I wear the pipes, but it's gonna open the trunk so you can see the trunk space. Now it's pretty dark inside, but there is a big trunk space. Now uh, we have, as you can see, a uh, divider for the seat so we can knock down the seats. One, uh, it's actually 40, I guess 20. And we have here space, we have here space. Now we have uh, a huge space underneath. Um, you can get a patching kit, so this is kind of deep as you can see. Now, let's get to the side just to show you the, the size amount of this trunk, which is actually big and there's a big space for the loading area. So it's not a problem. For some reason, this uh, system that you pull the seats, they're not knocking down. Uh, on the top, you have a red light. You have a little ambient light that's lighting up this space for the entrance and I'm gonna close it and before we get on the front of the car I just want to show you the back of the car now we have beautiful materials here all premium looking wood aluminium door handles switches for the windows you have a red stop light here you have a light on the bottom as you can see as well aluminium doorstep MG um, carpets and really beautiful and really comfortable seats so Mercedes was focusing on the comfort on the back seat as well now this is a coupe so for the tall per people this is gonna be a problem for, for the average person this is gonna be enough so I did adjust the seat for myself so I'm just gonna sit on the back to show you that I do have knee room and then let me just back up the camera as you can see there's more light inside. I do have uh, knee space, but my head uh, lacks some space. But I am two meters tall, that's 6.6. .6. So for the average person, it should be enough. Let's close this doors for less noise. Um, I wish this was a bit taller, but this is okay. So to show you, on the back we have this AC vents and we have a, a little area. Four. let me open the doors for more light to come in so we have a small ashtray we have 12 watt and we have a USB to 5 watt charger so this tunnel is pretty huge as you can see and this seat is pretty small so I wouldn't fit a third person on the back only for maybe short trip uh, but the, these seats are really comfortable they go really low so you have more space on the, for your head and this is really beautiful leather with Alcantara in the middle, as you can see, really nice seats. Now you have a armrest that you can extend. So if you push this, this goes up. So you have a storage area. And over here, when you press these, you get this cup holders that you know, you're supposed to unfold like this. So you just, you know, push them back and <laughs> And that's pretty much it. So if you want to knock down the seats because for some reason they're pretty heavy so that's why they didn't fall down. Uh, this is the space you get. Now I'm going to just push the middle seat and exit so I can show you how much space you get when you lower the seat. So let me just get out. So as you can see when the seat is knocked down this is how it looks. So. I'm just gonna push this seat back to its original position. I hope they clicked. I didn't hear the click, but let's move on. Now when this doors, you can see the window went up. You have to be careful when closing them, but I must say, Mercedes has a good soundproof as well. Now, look at this luxurious materials, aluminum. Now you have double uh, rubber over here as well for the soundproof as well over here on the bottom now also premium materials nice looking you have here lock unlock the car you have the switches for the windows all windows are automatic you can lock the rear windows and you can fold the 
uh, mirrors and you can um, I guess turn on the heating and these are the controls for uh, adjusting your mirrors. We have here um, heated seats and not sure if this is but um, we're gonna move on. Uh, nice speakers you can get even the cooler speakers you shot, saw on the car show. Now the seats as you can see the seats they are kind of sculpted they are kind of hugging you so we're gonna sit in now we have the MG carpets, we have Mercedes-Benz over here and we have electronic seats so as you can see they move and they go up and down and you have the lumbar support as well and the hugging and you have this so if you want to extend this you just press it, it pulls out now you have sport paddles and you have parking Right here you have fog lights, you know, auto switch and you have brightness for your display which is beautiful. Now, let me, before I get into this, just to show you the screens, as you can see this is divided for some reason, so, uh, excuse me there's a lot of light coming in, so this is divided, I wish this was connected, so that's a one flaw I would say. Now, uh, let's focus. So this steering wheel is beautiful. New steering wheel, awesome design. As you can see, we have here um, settings for the uh, radar, uh, cruise, and on the other side, we have home button, we have back button, uh, voice commands, volume, you can mute, and you can uh, receive phone calls or use your favorites and the screens are covered so so you don't have glare from the sun um, the A-Class which hasn't arrived yet doesn't have it I like this vents I'm not sure uh, which ones open or closed so this is how they move you can adjust them you know they look like some sort of satellite dishes and over here we have um, standard controls you have menu for the uh, main infotainment this is your speedometer digital sort of so we have here rear heat heat um, signs for circulation just in the car AC temperature it goes up and down as you can see really quality materials you have here on um, which of uh, you know top the bottom uh, windshield um, airflow and you have here automatic air condition and you have a uh, front windshield uh, defrosting as well now you have here navigation radio media you have this beautiful analog clock you have phone car you have the hazards as you can see when i turn them on unfortunately mercedes doesn't have uh blinker indicators in the car that's some that's something i would add to the car now we have here hidden um storage area this is for maybe cup holders, maybe for your phone. Um, you can't see quite well. I believe there might be inductive, you know, wireless charging for your phone. This is maybe a place for your, I guess, key fob or the opposite when it's not changed to the, cha to the other key. We have a 12 watt socket over here. This is really beautiful wood and the materials are really quality. Even these buttons that are plastic, they don't feel that cheap. Now, we have here, um, of course, leather, uh, aluminum. Now, this car, I'm not sure, I don't think, maybe it does have ambient lights. You have stitches here. This is sort of brown uh, leather on the top. As you can see, you have a, like a huge speaker on the top as well. And really quality materials. This is also quality brushed aluminum. Uh, this plastic, I wish it was covered. Uh, room for pencil, huge storage area as you can see, uh, light and this little gray thing is the AC so you do have the AC. Now um, here you have Mercedes standard controls, uh, you have this touchpad surface, uh, back, um, home button, you have here um, turn on the main infotainment, you have here volume, uh, mute I guess, so home, back, so you have this also 
uh, control that rolls for easy access to the menu. You have here uh, dynamic, you know, sport control. You can choose multiple modes. You have um, parking sensors off, parking cameras, and auto off. Also, you have a really roomy uh, space for, uh, you know, bottles, stuff. You have a, as I know, if you can see, SD card and two USBs. One does connect to your media on the top. And the seats, as you can see, you can adjust your headrest. Goes up and down, really beautiful, uh, hugging you, really comfortable. They really go deep so you have enough space for your head. Um, on the top, we have a uh, reading. So if I turn on this, you can see the lights come on and I can turn the backlights as well on the top over here or we can just turn it all off not to turn on the lights when the doors are opened and let me see so I turned them off now we have a speaker here you have also aid and SOS call or service uh, you have a little speaker on the top here you also have a privacy mirror here Hi guys, I want you to comment below and give a like to the video and subscribe if you already haven't. So you have a little LED light on the top. Now we have your, your cleaning ladies. I don't want to have them in the shot, but they're really went over here. So I'm just going to show you the back space. Uh, I, I would say you can see pretty well in the, the uh, center mirror, which is um, kind of weird as you, you can see this uh, glass um, like a basil um, sort of and but it's nice and the roof is of course black because this is a sports uh, vehicle and now we're gonna turn on the uh, ignition so we have a start stop button here now I'm really sorry for the noise now you don't press the brake to give a car ignition. I don't want to be rude, but this cleaning lady, she's just like, like I'm not there, like she's just doing her stuff and she doesn't care. <laughs> so yeah, moving on with the review. Okay, so I decided to close the window and to hear the uh, noise cancellation. It's pretty good. I can barely hear the vacuum. I think you agree. So let's show you the uh, digital cockpit, which is really, really great. Okay, after interruption, one more time, you press the button twice. So we have here information with the seats, uh, seat belts on the back. Now, this is off, uh, air vent is opened, and this way it's closed. So I'm going to open it because it's really hot inside and I want some airflow so I really love this design it is quite nice really beautiful uh, looking and this is my driver's perspective so you can see someone's in my blind spot or it's just on because the ignition's on uh, this is the way view back now I love this screen and also not to forget over here you have a manual uh, adjustment for the steering wheel so I'm gonna uh, push it up so you can so I can show you this so um, let's turn on the infotainment with the Mercedes-Benz now we're gonna mute this so we get a warning not to get uh, the, the uh, distracted while uh, driving on the road so we have here radio massive screen I must say this looks beautiful I'm stunned this is awesome so we have here, let's see the menu. This is the uh, for the AC, obviously. Now, a uh, huge display. I must say this is really crisp. I'm gonna come close and... It's not a touch screen, okay. So I'm gonna uh, just press this one. And let's see here, I can choose other uh, radio. Um, I don't want sound on. So we have here radio, backup, we have media, uh, you can connect your USB. 
you have here navigation wow that's a pretty large screen so this is beautiful um too bad it's not a touch screen i wish it was but you can i guess use this or maybe it is let me see no it's not so uh you can use this as you can see i'm moving the fob you can see we're in croatia uh west side of the city the mercedes dealership and of course um uh it's gonna move on we have here phone controls so you can uh connect it via bluetooth we have here car information so we have dynamic select here um as you can see uh so we can have a uh speedometer over here as well which is really interesting uh if i click the back button we can see the uh animation which is really beautiful um something about the car maybe the radius uh, we can adjust here certain certain stuff i really like the graphic graphics are really crispy now the mercedes before really had uh shitty graphics and now they've really improved this is like it looks like a retina screen on your uh, macbook pro and now we have here other different um settings um uh, we also have here uh i think i forgot to mention we have here um steering assist and lane assist so when you're driving and uh we have this shift battles which are really beautiful of course this is the automatic uh controls for mercedes and your wiper controls um really beautiful just to show you the other angle of this and beautiful steering wheel now uh, i almost forgot that we have here so i can use with this little fob as you can see i can uh, see consumption uh, you obviously need to turn on the car for this so if i go back you can go to uh, light controls you have uh, lights on your uh, side mirrors and you have the ambient lights wow so i want to really see this okay so this is something beautiful now mercedes has ambient lights and <laughs> i really want to touch this because i think it's a touch screen but it's not and okay so it's warning me if i don't turn on the car it's going to turn off and i'm just going to go through them really quick and uh because i'm not going to you have here assists just to show you move quickly through them I'm back and uh I really wanted to show you the ambient lights. Let's get into this. Um, not sure how to... Okay. Oh, you can turn on the air conditioning. Wow, this is awesome. So you can see this beautiful lights. Look at this. On the bottom on the back now it's i know it's a bright daylight you can see on the bottom here you can really customize this so i'm not going to go uh into details because i know the infotainment is going to turn off uh just to show you the screen uh over here we have here views so if you go to a um you can go here into progressive so this is kind of interesting or you can go here on the top to sport uh which really changed this it's really awesome of course you have here um dynamic and so let me press this so you have dynamic choose sport um the engine needs to be on so i'm just gonna leave it in classic and um let's try moving back you have here phone uh media radio navigation uh in your trip uh, assist service so just let me show you nope that's for the so this is for the right screen this is for the left screen and just to show you the navigation and so okay i don't have anything i need to really turn on the car but this is what you get this is the standard media and it's beautiful so I mean car office i really wonder what's that and i guess you can sync in with your phone you know and, th and things so you have here internet connection as you can see um okay this is not working so i'm gonna wrap it here guys i'm going to just you know show you so this is the car functions 
and if I go out, uh, I really love I really love the uh, ambient lights. Something I want to play with, and this, since this is so cool, and so multiple color scheme. Uh, really beautiful guys. So I have a lot of space for my head as you can see and I'm gonna wrap the video here I really love this. I want to thank the Mercedes uh, for letting me uh, do car review I'm gonna do another car review for you guys. So subscribe to the channel if you already haven't uh, Give this video a like so I can get more views uh, If you really like my content subscribe. I'm trying to do quality videos. I'm a car fan I'm not a car expert. So have that in mind and thank you for watching. See you in the next video I'm just going to show you here, you pull this to open the front hood, just to show you the engine and the engine bay. Just push on the left side of this, and this is the massive engine. Just a little bit force.